When we think of literature, we often tend to associate it with classic novels, renowned writers, and profound storytelling. However, literature is not just limited to human characters and their tales. Sometimes, it also encompasses the inclusion of animals. One such notable inclusion is the Pembroke Welsh Corgi. These adorable and intelligent little dogs have made their mark in literary works over the years. So, let's delve into the history of Pembroke Welsh Corgis in literature and explore their role in capturing the hearts of both authors and readers. The story of Pembroke Welsh Corgis in literature begins with their origin in Wales. These dogs have a rich history dating back to more than a thousand years. Legend has it that these agile and herding dogs were originally owned by woodland fairies who used them to pull their carriages and ride into battle. While this may sound whimsical, it adds to the charm and fascination surrounding the breed. One of the earliest mentions of Pembroke Welsh Corgis in literature can be found in Geoffrey Chaucer's iconic work, The Canterbury Tales, written in the 14th century. Chaucer describes a tale called The Nun's Priest's Tale, in which a clever fox outweets a rooster named Chanticleer. Interestingly, Chanticleer is described as a Pembroke Welsh Corgi in some adaptations of the tale, depicting the breed's presence even in traditional folklore. Moving forward, Pembroke Welsh Corgis gained further recognition in literature through their association with their most famous devotee, Queen Elizabeth II of England. The Queen's love for these charismatic dogs has been well documented, and her royal corgis have become beloved figures in contemporary literature. A notable mention is the fictional detective series by Rhys Bowen, featuring Lady Georgiana Rannick, a distant relative of Queen Elizabeth II, and her Pembroke Welsh Corgi named Queenie as her loyal companion. These cozy mystery novels set in the 1930s have captivated readers with their wit, charm, and the delightful presence of a Pembroke Welsh Corgi. Another iconic literary appearance of Pembroke Welsh Corgis can be found in J. K. Rowling's world-famous Harry Potter series. In these fantasy novels, Hagrid, the lovable half-giant groundskeeper at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, owns a Pembroke Welsh Corgi named Fawn. Fawn plays a significant role in the books, accompanying Hagrid on various adventures and providing moments of both comic relief and emotional support. This portrayal has further increased the breed's popularity, as fans of the series have grown fond of the charming and loyal representation of Pembroke Welsh Corgis. Pembroke Welsh Corgis have also been featured in modern works of fiction that highlight their intelligence, agility, and lovable nature. One such example is the novel The Art of Racing in the Rain by Garth Stein. The story is narrated by a dog named Enzo, who aspires to become a human in his next life. While Enzo is not a Pembroke Welsh Corgi himself, one of the supporting characters, a racing driver named Maxwell, owns a Pembroke Welsh Corgi named Trish, who plays a crucial role in the narrative. Trish's character brings warmth and a touch of humor to the story. Beyond fiction, Pembroke Welsh Corgis have also made appearances in non-fiction literature, particularly in books focusing on dog breeds and their histories. These books often provide detailed accounts of the breed's characteristics, temperament, and historical significance. They serve as valuable resources for those interested in learning more about Pembroke Welsh Corgis and their journey in literature and beyond. In conclusion, the history of Pembroke Welsh Corgis in literature is a captivating one that spans centuries. From their mythical origins to their delightful portrayal in contemporary works, these adorable little dogs have made their way into the hearts of authors and readers alike. Whether it's through classic tales, royal devotion, or modern fiction, Pembroke Welsh Corgis have carved a special place in the literary landscape. So, the next time you pick up a book, keep an eye out for these charming canines and appreciate their contribution to the wonderful world of literature.